think it's important to understand that FDA actually has, has actually two missions. The first mission is to protect the public health. The second mission is to promote the public health. Those are in tension with each other, frequently in tension with each other. What do I mean? I mean that there's, there's a tension. How, how much data do you need before something goes into the market? You can always say no. That would protect, but it wouldn't promote the public health. We need new products. There are lots of diseases and lots of patients who are not being adequately cared for today with available drugs, biologics, and devices. So FDA has a dual responsibility, making sure that what does come into the market is safe and effective, and also making sure that new things can enter the market. And in order to do that, there's, there's a, a need to understand the technology and to make sure that it becomes available. So there's not a, an issue of rushing product into the market, but there is a responsibility to assure that products, technologies, new approaches, new, new investigate, new, uh, sorry, new imaging products, for example, new diagnostics, as well as new surgical products, get into the market so that patients can benefit. So there's a tension in, in that system. Make sure it's enough, but don't hold things back too much. I've worked as a reviewer. I've worked as a supervisor. I worked as a, at the senior levels within the FDA. I've worked at a senior level in the industry. Nobody's in a hurry to rush a product into the market before it's ready. Everybody wants to be sure that products are both safe and effective when they enter the market.